It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 8th through the 14th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that this reading is not a private reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. What do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for Virgo? One more, please. Well, I think we'll take those. What do we have for Virgo? Archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Vulture. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Career. Career is very prominent this week. You may be really focusing on your career. Sun. Happiness and well-being. So, you need to focus on your happiness this week. Your vibration may be shifting. Uh, this is a life getting... Get, <laughs> It's Mercury retrograde, so please bear with me. This is a life-giving energy. It's a um, bright new day. It's a breakthrough of some sort. Um, you do have a new opportunity that is opening up for you. Um, I do see you're worried, though. But I feel like it, it says you're worried. This is worried. That's just worries. Okay? You're worried. I don't think you have anything to worry about. I don't. I think that this is a very positive energy. So, um, you definitely have a new opportunity that is coming to you. So, I don't think you have anything to worry about, even though you're really, really worried. Um, this new opportunity may have something to do with your career, okay? Whatever it is, you're probably going to love it, okay? You're probably going to love it. It's going to uh, bring you happiness, whatever it is. Um, what do we have for Virgo? Fifteen decision. Now this is the devil card. It's the devil card. So it says Archangel uh, Jophiel. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on a lack of self confidence. You got some unnecessary worry here. It's obvious. You're worrying needlessly. Um, you need to release yourself from what, whatever it is that holds you back. You may need to sever ties. You see, we have a bird cage there. It's time to fly. You know, it's time to, you know, be free. Be free of whatever this is. So this week, you may be uh, escaping something, or you may be breaking free from something. And there's fear because you know when you've been caged up or you've been confined, and you become free, it can be fearful. It can be overwhelming. So I feel like this week, you notice we have an angel. We do have an angel here. I think we have an angel that is supporting your freedom. So I think that you need to let go of your worry. Let go of your worry. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be breaking free from a Capricorn. doesn't have to be. Um, either way, it's time for you to release. It's time for you to, to remove yourself from this, kind, this confinement. You know, you definitely need to fly. It is time for you to fly. What do we have for Virgo? You need to remove yourself. Remember, talk, detox, detox. That means you need to cleanse your, your, your aura. You need to cleanse your body. You need to cleanse your soul. You need to cleanse your environment. You need to remove anything that does not nurture your soul. What do we have for Virgo? Queen of Cups. Strength. There's your worry. This is about self-love. It's about self-care. You need to take care of yourself. You do. This is your lack of self-confidence, your worry, your anxiety. 
feeling uh, vulnerable. You may be feeling weak. That's in the past, though. I feel like now it's time for you to love yourself and follow your intuition, follow your gut. I feel like it's going to be a very emotional week. Ooh, Ten of Swords reversed. World card. So this is a new beginning. This is the end of a chapter. It's the end of a cycle. This is success. It's victory after sorrow. You've obviously been in a situation where you may have uh, lacked some discipline or you lacked control or you lacked self-control or self-love. You've been a lack of self-confidence, feeling inadequate, extremely worried. I think that you do, there's really nothing for you to worry about. You may have been depressed, you know, in your emotions. This is a week where you master your emotions and you break free from that situation that has that has held you back. It's time for you to, you know, go down a new path, leave the past behind. That's what the world card is about. I feel like you've accomplished something. You've learned some sort of lesson. I think you've learned a lesson about yourself. It's about it's about love, okay? It's not about control. It's about love. It's about self-love. It's about doing everything in love because the Queen of Cups is all about love. So with the Ten of Swords in front of you, I mean behind you, it looks like it's behind you, um, I do feel like, uh, it's Ten of Swords reversed, I feel like... Um, releasing pain this is releasing a painful situation um, extremely painful there's something extremely painful here that it's over something is over and it feels like you've reached a point where you just can't this is a physical or mental collapse I feel like it's it's uh, it's the death of it's it is definitely it's over something is absolutely positively over with these two cards right next to each other. It's been extremely painful, excruciating. This is going in a new direction. This is good news. Taking a new approach. Regaining, regaining focus. You have an exciting opportunity right in your hands. You do, you're going to be getting some good news this week. It feels like there could be a new suitor or a new opportunity that is coming into your life that is absolutely perfect for you. Whatever this is, this is, a, this is an exciting opportunity that can grow. It's something that is perfect. It's perfect. It's a, it, it is. So you have a bright opportunity that is coming to you. Some good news is coming. Things are about to come to fruition. Something that you have, it feels like, you know, I feel like with this card, I often think that there's something that you planted a long time ago and now it's coming to fruition. You're going to be going down a new path. This is a new direction, taking a new approach. Um, You have an exciting opportunity. I think you're going to take it too. You're going to be getting an offer from somebody. Confusion, options, choices. You're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to choose wisely. Be careful this week. Be careful. I, there could be somebody that has stabbed you or has hurt you. You know, this person has hurt you and, you know, they may be, and it's over, you know, it's over. They made you feel inadequate. They made you feel less than worthy. You know, they made you feel unlovable, you know, because that Queen of Cups doesn't have the cup, the cover is on the cup. I feel like, I feel like you, uh, and with a strength, I feel like you've been controlled. You've been under somebody else's control or somebody's power. You were, I think you've been dealing with somebody that lacks respect for you. You know, this person doesn't respect you at all. And I feel like it's over. It's over with that person. And you have a new opportunity coming in. This is exciting. This is with this is with a person that is very well suited for you. Whether it's a relationship or it's a job or it's an opportunity, you know, to go down a new path that could grow into something. Um, 
but you're gonna have to make a choice of some sort. You're gonna have options. And I feel like you're gonna be confused. You may, be, you may feel like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Because I feel like, you, obviously, if you're, you have options. You have many options. And with that 10 of swords reversed, that, that's like, uh, I think it's a painful decision, okay? Because this is painful and this is decision. You're gonna be making a painful decision this week based on love based on love because the queen of cups is love it's releasing control uh you know accomplish something you've learned some sort of lesson because the world card is a lesson learned you've learned some sort of lesson and i feel like you're going to be exploring your options this week you are going to be exploring your options you're going to be getting you're going to be i think you're going to be having a conversation with somebody that makes you consider your options you know um Anyway, Page of Wands, an exciting opportunity to start fresh. You have an exciting opportunity to start fresh. You're going to be receiving a message from someone. Um, could be a, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like I feel like there's there's been some sort of pain though, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. But there's a chance to to start fresh, whatever that means. Um, we do have a we do have a new beginning here. Starting a new journey, leaving the past behind with that world card. Ace of Wands reverse. So something about going south, not coming to fruition, not excited, being weighed down. You have been weighed down. You've been weighed down by something. And I feel like you're gonna be you're gonna this week you have to make a decision of some sort, and you may feel weighed down by having to make this decision. And it is about freedom, because remember the first card out, that, that devil card, it's about breaking free from something. So it's not gonna be easy. You're gonna have to make a choice before, you, because you can't live in this pain anymore. You can't, it's been extremely, excruciatingly painful. You know, the 10 of swords reverse. This is a near death experience, okay? Um, this is liberation. It's freedom, 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 freedom. This is all about freedom. It is. So I feel like I feel like you're definitely turning your back on a painful situation. You have a new exciting opportunity. It's going to be given to you. You may not really. I mean, it's exciting, but I feel like it's, you're going to be. Um, you may be a little bit unsure. You may be a little bit confused about this offer that's coming in. You may be a little confused or something. Um, and I feel like it's because you've been so hurt. You've been so betrayed in, in the past, right? Because this is betrayed and this is leaving the past behind. So anyway, I feel like you've been betrayed. So I think you're going to be in your emotions. You're going to need to follow your gut. And you need to break free from something that is toxic, uh, unhealthy. Um, whatever this is, it's, it's, uh, it's dark because the devil is dark energy. You need to break free from it. This is all about freedom and liberation and uh, refocusing, focusing, really focusing, focusing on the future, grabbing on to an opportunity and running with it. This is very exciting, but you may have to... Uh, You know, you may have to you may have to tell somebody no as well because of this Ace of Wands reversed. Um, six of Cups. Now, Six of Cups is reminiscing. It's about the past. It definitely is about the past. There could be somebody from the past that is, uh, or it could be this could be a past life connection. Uh, there is some sort of reminiscing, reminiscing. there's memories, there's, there's nostalgia. You could be receiving an offer from somebody from your past, okay? And you may have thought there was no spark or there was no, no flame left or that, that this was over, that it was out, you know? You may be receiving an offer from somebody, which is interesting. It is interesting. You're definitely going to have some options this week. There's no doubt about a couple of options. And that's why we have, we, we have a couple different options here. I think that you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a choice. I mean, there's options. There's obviously at least two, you know, or more. I feel like there's something that has already ended. But I, there could be some unfinished business with the Ten of Swords reversed. So it feels like you're going to be receiving some news from somebody that you have dealt with in the past. You know, I don't know who it is. 
but you're going to receive some message. And I feel like it's going to, you know, um, make you emotional. It's going to make you very, very, very emotional. And you're going to have to make a, I feel like you're going to have to make a painful, stressful decision this week. And it is all about your happiness and your well-being. Listen to your gut. Listen to your gut, okay? And when I say it's somebody that you know, it could be somebody brand new, okay, that you have a soulmate connection with. You definitely have a new beginning here. You have learned some sort of lesson with the world card. You have accomplished something. And you are headed towards success because this is a success. You may feel like you're not adequate or you may feel like you're very extremely worried, obviously. You need to let go of your fears. Let go of your fears. Don't let your fears hold you down. Okay? So anyway, you definitely have a new opportunity that is uh, about to open up. I think it's something that you have, it feels like, I don't know if it was seven years or 14 years or something like that. There is a new opportunity that is about to open up for you. It may have some something maybe coming back around that you uh, planted seeds with a long time ago. Okay. May not have been fertile then, but perhaps it is now. Good luck.